Hi, my name is Elizaveta Sokolovska, and I'm a student, I'm also a student at the Heritage Private School in Limassol, Cyprus. And my topic is a pigeonhole principle. The idea of pigeonhole principle first came to mind of German mathematician Peter Lejeune Gustave Dirclair in 1834, or Schupfach Prinzip, as they call it in German. And the formal statement of this was, there does not exist an injunctive set of finite sets whose codomain is smaller than its domain. It is hard, but translating it to plain English, we can never put a bigger amount of objects into a smaller amount of boxes, unless in one box, or at least in one box, there is two or more objects. Let me explain it further. I will tell you that we have n plus one objects and n boxes. If I would put these, bo these objects into n boxes, one box will contain two objects. Pure logic, right? Well, yes. In this example, yes. But what about trying to prove that there are two or more people with exactly the same amount of hair in such a city as New York? It sounds crazy, doesn't it? We can try to guess, but isn't it that mathematics have all the answers? Can we prove it? Yes using pigeonhole principle. But first, you might think that pigeonhole principle, why is it called so? Well, if being honest, we got used to such names as the function approximation or logarithmic differentiation, but definitely not something called pigeonhole. And I will explain you why. Well, the example was done exactly on pigeons where it got its name. In our example, we have four boxes, yeah, representing the pigeonholes and five pigeons, or toys. If we would put these pigeons into these holes, we will see that, yeah, that one is left. So we'll have to put this one in this box. And there are two of them, right? This is the proof. So you might now think how it will help us with the question before. OK, to remind, the question was proof that there are two or more people with exactly the same amount of hair in New York. We go back to statistics. New York can, has approximately 8.2 million people, and each person has around 140,000 hair. So, yeah, we see that these are pigeons, these are pigeonholes, we combine those two, and there we go. We just prove that two or more people will have exactly the same amount of hair in New York using mathematical process using a very simple yet very powerful pigeonhole principle. Thank you.